Hey, welcome back. All right, so let's finish this up today. If you have <laughs> just stumbled on this video by chance, you're halfway through this build. So go and find the first half of Autumn's House and then come back and watch this bit because you will not be disappointed. And if you don't know who Autumn is because you don't know what's happened with Lego Friends for 2023, definitely go and watch the other video so you can find out. But we are currently, well, I thought we were actually finished with the first story of this house, but no, there's actually a little extension off the side which is so nice and it's actually very very like realistic rather than just having this very symmetrical house there's an extension which is cool I just I love this I, I love this house I love the design of the house so we've got down the footprint of the extension now they've got big big windows nice big tall windows support in the middle and another set of the same windows so it's a whole like the whole room is windowed it's so lovely just imagine the light streaming in in the morning so oh I've broken it <laughs> okay we'll bring it back from the floor with a few little spider webs attached oh wow okay and it fits directly on top of that lattice fencing like because that's the you know the foundation all the way around another door on this side so the side door and it's got the wood the yellow wood definition on the bottom which just makes it look gorgeous support on the top look at that look the little it's just it's a little morning room it <laughs> I feel like it's a morning room because you'll get the beautiful morning sun through the windows depending on which way the house is situated on the block mm. okay all right so we are now at the end of that bag I just it just looks so good so far got a few spare pieces here but nothing really weird which is good and we're up to bag number four and now we furnish that new room that we've just created and what do you think goes in that room the little sunroom the morning room oh, it's a sunroom oh we've got a couple of chairs so these rounded tile pieces have got wood like a wood panel -y with cushion stickers on the top they're on either side so it's a it's a dining room there we go <laughs> how was that for suspense it's where they go to eat their meals it's the family dining room and this is the table which is really feels quite tall but it needs to be tall to get those chairs and the minifigure feet under it and we got a couple of cups on the top uh, some plates kind of and plates yeah plates a serving plate with a pie on it and even though the pie is entirely uncut there are two cut pieces of pie apple pie I'm gonna go with because they're actually apples included in this set and we've got a little token fork uh, just one fork they're all gonna have to share it but that's fine and you should be <laughs> is it now they've all got COVID um yeah but there is actually room there for all four characters that are included in this set to sit at the table at the dining table if we squish them real hard so moving up onto the second level we're extending that chimney up your fireplace has a chimney on it love it it's gonna go all the way up the top of the roof there it's actually gonna line up unlike the builds that I do where the chimney doesn't line up with the fireplaces that's okay and another sticker so we've got a little rubber ducky and hot and cold tap so this is gonna be the bathroom this sticker here's got a towel on it nice bright orange towel with little stripes and I'm trying to figure out how this works because this is all sitting quite high on the wall and the chimneys on the outside got a hook uh, oh, I missed a little yeah missed a plate off there now that's all lined up correctly that wall lines up with the side wall and then we're jutting this bit out Ooh, okay so the bathroom's gonna be a little bit smaller got the same wall no outside wall the facade the yeah the configuration as we do on the downstairs section with all the green wood paneling and another window here once again I've forgotten to put <laughs> <laughs> the mint plate on there but this window's yeah nice no, just nice see-through blocks <gasps> a picture of Daisy and a random cat that we haven't met yet so Mia no sorry well Mia is the mum and awesome they must they've got a dog and a cat but we haven't met the cat yet and that cat picture is supposed to go on the very top so there we go I fixed all that up <laughs> okay this is looking so good we got some really good walling going on looks like we're getting all of the wall in before we actually start furnishing this room so we've got another window over here and then there's like a little patio kind of section out to the side got another door more of the yellow wood paneling design on it and then a whole line of plates to keep the walls all in place and then we start actually putting some angled roofing with turquoise 
around the edges that we've created here. So this is going all the way around here and then sneaking around the corner. Got a little place there where we can put something soon. Some more. <laughs> that sounded really ominous, but it's not. It's really not. And yeah, getting our roofing all the way here. Doesn't that look so good? So that's over the top of the little veranda section. This is what we have left at the end of that bag. We do have a spare fork, so that's nice. And we're up to bag number five. So now we are not heading inside yet. We've still got to get all of these all of these roof angly bits secured in place with the white plates and then a bit of decorative fencing up here on the second level for the patio section. But now, now we're heading into the bathroom and it looks so weird. What are we building? <laughs> Weirdness are we building in here? So we've made a cage cage of some description. No, it's a bathtub. Have we ever built a bathtub in a Lego Friends? Yeah, we have, but not like this in a Lego friend's house. Not quite like this. This is a really tall bathtub. So, but that's so cute. Look how cute a mini doll looks in there. Oh my gosh. And oh, it's not, so it's a shower bath combo. Nice. That's a very good space saver. And as I mentioned in the first part of this build, this is as crammed in as it gets. So we've got every available stud here is utilized. <laughs> I love it. Got our orange bath mat on and this part is a toilet. So this little component is the toilet and a sink combined. You don't even need to get off the toot to use the sink. I think that's, no, you should get off first and yeah, flush everything away. And this nice big panel has got some sticker definition on it. We've got a big poster with uh, all of the animals that the Lego Friends girls had in the OG Friends. So there's a dog, a bird, a hamster, a cat and a bunny like the first five OG cars. And there's mushrooms, there's little, oh, a little terrarium. I love that sticker so much. A little Easter egg in it too, I just love that. Like the literal Easter egg. The Easter egg is the poster with all of the animals from each of the original girls. Okay, so this goes in here and then that wall panel goes facing the other way. Got a mirror stuck on the other side to go above the sink. Bathroom is complete. There's no way you could possibly fit anything else into there. So good. I wonder if they can even fit on the toilet. We'll give that a go in a moment. So moving into the next room, this is, I am going to assume this is Autumn's room because it's called Autumn's house and <laughs> traditionally the Lego Friends houses do not have a bedroom for the parents, which is hilarious. Mia's just had her bedroom ripped from her. I love this sticker. Oh, look at it. It's got a little frog, her frog stuffy, her childhood frog toy. That's a fabulous sticker because you could use that for anything. Oh, that's so nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got a tiny bed. I've forgotten what I was saying before I got distracted by the sticker. Uh, and next to the bed, we've got a little bureau of drawers, I think. Got some drawer handles on the front there. And then on the top of the drawers, just a tiny little, yeah, tiny little plant pot and a brush, which just something makes me think that Autumn just doesn't like using a brush so much. I think she's a bit carefree. And this is a gorgeous sticker to depict. I assume it's a rug, but it'd make a really nice wall hanging. I think it would look nice. Yeah, I, I might utilize that somewhere else as a wall hanging. But for now, it's actually the rug in Autumn's room. So the bed goes in here and the, oh, she's got some plants climbing around her room, which I just adore. So there's a nice big plant there. Bureau goes against the back wall there. I think swapping the brush and the plant around would mean that we could see that picture behind there a little bit better. Lovely rug next to the bed. And now we've got a massive supporting pole which kind of is that's going to get in the way when we try and get in here and actually get some of the mini dolls in but I'm going to assume it's really really important for support otherwise it wouldn't be there because it's a bit of an eyesore so there's some more plant climbing plant climbing out the back of the house I love that and on this side I mean we could put this could be Mia's bedroom like her mum's bedroom though it's there's no can like door for privacy but it's not spoiler <laughs> poor old mama Mia I promise I'll make her a bedroom eventually I just don't know how it's going to fit in with the design. So this is a bed which has been designed for a pet. It's got patty paws on it and scratches on it. So I assume the cat that we haven't seen yet has had a good go at the arms of that couch. I mean, if you have cats, you can't have anything nice. Pet supplies on the front. And where's Daisy? Daisy, come try out the bed. There we go. Daisy looks way too alert to be on a dog bed at the moment. Standing at attention. And there's a claw at the front to hold the bone. And let's grab Leo and get Leo to try out this 
toilet, not while Autumn's in the bath, that would be just a little bit uncomfortable. And there's just enough spot, to, just enough spot, there's just enough room to put a mini doll in front there, in front of the dog bed, I like that. Okay, outside we have got a tabletop with a note checklist thing. So this is gonna be like a working area, we've got a pen, it's like a study area. It's a study area. Oh, I love this. Binoculars, which I think might be binoculars. <laughs> I was going to say, I think they might be a microscope, but they're not. A bird book. This is not very straight, so I'm fixing up this sticker. Now it's slightly more straight, but more crumpled than it was the first time I tried to put on. So there's a bird book. So we're out here doing some bird watching with the binoculars, which are not a microscope. How good is that? It's a little research table. Oh my goodness. I really, really like that. There's even space for Daisy to hang out out here too. How good is this looking so far? We're up to the end of this bag. Got nothing weird happening in the spare pieces. Thank you. And we're up to bag number six. Okay, so first part of bag number six is something else to actually add to the bird watching section. So this is some advanced tech this. So we've got a telescope with a camera attached so you can take pictures through the telescope. So that goes on the edge and you can angle that however you want it to go, either, you know, from side to side or even angle it up and down so that it's, yeah, so that it's at the right height. It looks so good. We go, oh, it's not very safe for Autumn. Sorry, Autumn. And there's a spot here for a little bird's nest. Just gotta have our two different colors of foliage and here with a red bird. And out here in front of the windows, there's actually quite a lot of space. So even though there's nowhere to it officially get over there. You can just climb over the banister from the veranda and hang out up on top of the porch. Look at all that space. <laughs> look at all that usable area. I'm going to put a chair up here too. Now that would look really weird. So a bit of nice foliage going on in front of the windows. We've got red, orange, and yellow. It's so autumnal and gorgeous. Going to put Autumn out here. She can hang up here on the roof. <laughs> Seems safe. And then, speaking of the roof, we're going up to the very top of the roof here. So we got our chimney all the way to the top. So good. Just love that. It's the little details. It's always the little details that just get me. We got some clip points at the top because to make... Oh, sorry, Alia. Gosh. Oh, actually, Alia's hair is really hard. It pops off if you poke you, if you push her at the back. The back of the hair pops off. Gorgeous hair mold though, don't get me wrong. So these panel pieces here, well they're not really panel pieces, these big plates are going to be the angled rooftops and they go into the clips on either side and then we build up the center to meet that and then how do we connect it then in the middle? So we get our angled pieces on either side heading up. So we're working in turquoise and we're working in mint. Turquoise going across here to support the bridge in the center and then oh, some more clips on the side. See, this is really quite technical. I, I actually dislike putting this sort of roofing on a heap because I've done quite a few of these sort of roof lines in the Harry Potter sets and they're a pain. <laughs> I can't, for some reason I just find them really hard to clip into position without collapsing everything else. So let's get that one, yeah, that one clips in really nicely. Very nice. And then same thing, mirror image for the other side clips just directly in if you just push in there we go how, oh, how good does that look and on the very top on this flat top that, that bit I don't think's made been made in turquoise before and we got a spinny bit in the middle to actually put a lego made wind vane up here which is really such a gorgeous design I think I'm using gorgeous too much here but the whole thing's really charming and gorgeous and clever and it's got a couple of gold hearts on it which is just like a little nod to the hearts for Heart Lake City but not too cutesy we got our smoke coming out of the chimney and it's looking amazing but we're not done yet so on the side there's a plug hole there <laughs> plug hole there for a little Technic pin thing and we're putting a tree, which is actually going to be attached really securely to the side of the house. So I mentioned before that we have apples, and what that's why I, this is why I assume that the pie is an apple pie, because I'd seen in the promotional pictures uh, Mia holding an apple. So I'm going to assume that they're using their own produce to make some delicious treats in the kitchen. Got a couple of apples on here. This is like a really gnarled apple tree, my favorite kind. I also like saying gnarled and gnarly because they got a silent G and they're not the sort of word you generally say in everyday life. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like saying it. And it's got a lantern hanging off the bottom, which is once again so charming. It adds to the overall charm of the 
of the design. Can't get it to hang straight though, so that detracts a little bit from the overall charm of the design, but that's my problem, not the designer's problem. So this is going to go on that nice big bendy, like the elephant trunk bit up here, which is not an elephant's trunk, it's just a nice big brown gnarly branch. Look at that. And you can angle it however you want so it kind of climbs up the house or so that it goes down. And this piece here, I'm sure it's new, but I'm not sure because I haven't looked it up, but I've never seen it. Normally these strings of light, uh, these light strings, <laughs> strings of lights, light strings, are put on a string. They're a string, not a rubbery bit. So now we've got ones on a rubbery bit. Not sure why the change has happened, but I'm not complaining because it's cool to have different parts to play around with. But I am going to reorient these lights so that they are facing that way because that's what the instructions say to do. And these are used on these pointy outy bar bits attached to the back of the stable and to the front of the house to <laughs> destroy the roof line and to integrate the stable as part of the house really. So now they're connected and joined, but you can detach them if you want to. But the stable's not just floating around, which I really like, but we're not done yet. It looks as though we have got a really cohesive build, but wait for the most charming, amazing part of this whole build. Am I overselling this? Maybe a little bit, but I, I was so charmed when I saw this. We are building a rocking chair and when I saw the promo pictures for this I thought it was a rocking chair mold I thought it was just one piece but it's not it's a buildable rocking chair and it is tentatively holding the mini dolls in there <laughs> there are actually studs at the back so you could probably attach a minifigure to this more comfortably this design but I don't know I don't know I'm not even gonna try because I'm all about the mini dolls but I'm gonna blue tack their little butts down onto those chairs anyway but aren't they amazing how absolutely charming and gorgeous are these rocking chair designs. I thought they were one piece. And look, you can just gently rock them because you don't want to rock them too hard or they go flying out. Let's take Mamma Mia out and let's pop in Alia so she can hang out. You know, the kids can hang out. They can hang out around the campfire or around the little, what do you call these things? Fire pit, a fire pit, which I'm about to build. You can hang out, toast marshmallows, except there's no marshmallows included, or just, you know, chat. Talk about philosophical important matters. Change the world. How good is that? How good are the rocking chairs? How good is the whole set? Oh my goodness. All right, so we are done. We have finished building it, but I have, I'm not over my absolute, yeah, thrill of this set. It looks gorgeous, all displayed out. It just really looks so good. I'm not even sure how I'm going to add to this, but you can bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to, but I'm probably going to destroy the, uh, the, the charm of the design. But let's grab an apple off the apple tree and chuck it in this basket because this produce basket that's holding nothing, trying to get it in there, in the lounge room is making me sad. So now it's got an apple in it. We've got a side door so you can go directly out to the stable or, you know, nick off out to one of your friend's houses. This is such a gorgeous design. It is, and that's more than beautiful, it's a knockout. It really is, it looks really, really great as a display piece as well as a house, like just a house in isolation. And those rocking chairs out the front, I don't know what it is about the charmingness of them and just the hominess of the whole thing. It is just bringing me so much joy to look at this and to have it on display. I mean, as a miniature doll's house, this is pretty much, I mean, it's a little small inside, but it's packed with so much detail into that small space. I just couldn't be more thrilled. It is, yeah, it's a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous set. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether this is a set you're going to need to add to your collection. And you know that there are more sets to be built and I am just fanging to do so. So I will see you with another video really, really soon. So check back in. Okay, bye.